A while back I saw a presentation of a guy who uh, talked about his youth uh, for his kids using Google Maps and I thought wow this is a great idea. So I'm going to take this moment and um, tell you a little bit about you know as I grew up um, and, and my most memorable days um, were when I lived in a place called Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania. So if, as you can see from the map, Duncanic, Pennsylvania is up in the northeast corner of Pennsylvania. It's a little town. And in that little town, it just sits uh, up by Scranton, Wilkes-Barre. And sits off the Susquehanna River. And my first memories as I lived there, as I bring it into focus, um, was about when I was around, roughly around five years old. Um, and we lived in this house, um, 55 Putnam Street, which is one of the oldest houses in Tunkhannock. Um, a brick building. Um, it was two stories. It, it was a duplex. We lived next to the uh, Mahoney's. Um, tremendously nice people. And we actually shared... Um, in the upstairs, there's a door that connected the two houses. And, you know, as the kids, we would just go back and forth. Um, it was a great time. But let me show you a little bit what Tunkhannock looks like. Uh, it's in a beautiful place um, in Pennsylvania, surrounded by mountains. And we're going to start my journeys by looking at um, this little house on Putnam Street. We lived right next to this uh, Presbyterian church, and as you can see, you know, we have, uh, we lived on the, I guess, the right side of the house as you face the house. Um, down the road, uh, my grandmother lived, um, and I believe it's, uh, it happened to be this house right here. I, I think that's where my grandmother lived, um, or the house next door to that. And so we would we go over there all the time. Our doctor lived right next door to us, uh, Reinheimer, and uh, sometimes we'd need to go there. <clears throat> so here I am, you know, basically about five years old, um, and you know, part of that adventure was just kind of exploring the neighborhood. We had like free reign of, you know, our area. We had to pretty much stay on our block, and and we would ride our bikes around the block and. You know, it was, it, for a young, for a young lad, that was that was a lot of fun. So we, we explored that part of the area. As we moved down, you know, Putnam Street, uh, it connected with Marion Street, and um, one of the more memorable places on Marion Street was the old um, Tunkhannock Library, and this library sit right across from um, the courthouse, and go into that library. I, I spent many days in that library. Um, loved, just loved reading, loved uh, um, the smell of the books. Um, it was a great, great place to, to be um, when you grew up. Um, as I mentioned, the courthouse was right across the street, so we'd, we'd go play on the cannons. Uh, they had a couple cannons out there that um, we'd certainly play on in the gazebo, and we got to, you know, hang out at the courthouse. Um, school, when I first started school, um, basically, you know, I leave my house um, and then head on down to Marion Street. And um, from Marion Street, walk basically all the way down to the post office. And we would cross the street, and then right in the basement of a church was where our kindergarten was. And uh, kindergarten was, uh, yeah, it was a good time. Um, talking to my mom, she says that, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. I don't really remember too much of it. But, um, you know, some of the things I do remember was, you know, the crossing guards. We would have guards that would... Uh, you know, help us cross the street and stuff. And I remember uh, they were nice, uh, nice enough folks. And uh, let me pull that into view. So
Yep. So the bottom of this uh, bottom of this church is sat right across the street from the uh, community center. When I got a little older, you know, first grade through I believe third grade, um, we went to this school, um, this primary school, and this was a an old brick building. I I remember. Um, you know, having the opportunity to clean the erasers and, you know, I had a nice playground in the back that certainly would not meet standards today. Um, you know, cinders everywhere, um, big metal teeter totters and things like that. But for us, it was a, a great place to play, uh, surrounded by a fence, um, on all sides. And, um, yeah, that was a it was a good place. I remember one time, you know, getting locked in the bathroom on the back corner um of the building. And uh, you know, it was after hours and ended up accidentally getting locked in there cuz I was not smart enough to let them know I was there. Um but that was uh that's basically, you know, where we went to school. So, you know, kind of st- strolled up there from from the house. As, um, you know, as we got, uh, probably somewhere around second grade, I want to say, um, we ended up moving out to the country and, um, from there, you know, so we left this little house in, in, um, uh, 55 Putman Street and we moved out to the country out into Eatonville and you know for me this was like way out there in the the country so you know we basically moved um, you know moved from this house and um, went out here and uh, moved there and that was a that was a great adventure um to do that i remember that was a lot of fun um as we went there so a lot of a lot of good memories out there so this is this old farmhouse um you know there was a barn across the street and you know what i remember most about this you know for and we only stayed there i believe a year but it, the house had these huge, you know, wooden floors where, you know, we would go sliding across. And <clears throat> probably more, and I guess more importantly, is we used to just go out and spend our time in the woods just right behind the house. And we had this, this huge playground that we, w- we would basically play in out behind our house and uh my dad ended up making this this wonderful tree fort uh for us but we had this huge area that we were allowed to go play in um we would cut we had uh neighbors uh just you know just next to us that uh had this dog and um you know, is it for us a little big scary dog? But, um, but we had to go through this yard in order to get onto a trail that would take us up into the mountain a little bit and um, where we would play. And you know, one time coming back uh, back home, and you know, this huge rattlesnake you know sprawled across the trail. So that was definitely a, a memorable moment in that period of time. From this um, from this area. Um, we had, uh, friends that we would go visit, um, Keith Palin, who lived up, up the hill and he lived, uh, you know, basically down the road from us and, you know, from there we would go out and I would spend some time up at Keith Palin's, you know, spend, spend some nights up there. Um, and, you know, they had this this wonderful, um, this wonderful farm up there. Uh, I remember certainly playing in the barns, uh, spending a lot of time, uh, doing that, but also in the, the winter we would go out there and, you know, he had this huge pond 
and we you know when it froze over we would go out there and ice skate on it and you know get all the neighbor kids that are up there kurt Sones, um and uh, a few others and we would go out there skating on the pond and um in the summer you know certainly playing in the barns uh that they had and and uh, blueberry picking and you know that was uh that was certainly a treat and i remember you know having to ride the bus to school um, and that was that was pretty short lived. And then over on the the other side, so so that was part of my uh, part of the terrain that we went into, but also um, from that from that area, you know, we had an opportunity every once in a while to go visit uh, my grandma that lived out there, my grandma France, and. All right, we're not going to get this in here. And, you know, she basically lived out on uh, 29 next to Bowman's Creek, and uh, which was a great place to go swimming. And so we would we'd venture out there and, you know, um, basically either ride our bikes or walk, you know, over to, to Grandma's house. And... Uh, yeah, that was uh that was an enjoyable time going out and visiting there. This part of the area, you know, some of the things I remember um as I lived out there, there was a you know, a bridge, you know, that that crossed the creek and you know, the, we'd go play on the bridge. Um a, an old trestle there. This uh this road at the time that I lived there was uh, a dirt road. Um it looks like they have some macadam on there. But um, one of the, the cool things was going out and just swimming in the creek all the time. And uh, this was a great place that you can go in and, and just swim just down by the bridge. And, uh, you yeah, know, I remember people doing that all the time. And uh, that was a big treat. Um, living next to Mahoney's, um, they would pile all the kids and us and we'd drive out here. So those, uh, yeah, that that was kind of, you know, the places, my little adventures when I was just starting out in Tunkhannock, um, taking me up to probably the third grade. And uh, just kind of a big area to, to go play in. But it was, it was a lot of fun. And um, next part of the story, we'll, we'll just kind of pick up, um, you know, from, uh, I guess, fourth grade and, and move on from there. So it's my little adventures in Tunkhannock. <laughs>